you want to turn your strokes from this into this, there are two key settings you need to know about. So these simple tweaks I'm about to show you are incredibly useful for lettering and calligraphy, illustrators or tattoo artists. It will give you improved line stability and precision so you can completely remove wobbly or shaky strokes. It's important to note you'll only be able to see the effects of these changes if you have a pressure sensitive stylus like the Apple Pencil. Also, your brush has to have pressure sensitivity settings applied already as well. So if you're having trouble following along and you're not seeing the results of your changes, it's likely one of those things is missing. It's not gonna work if you use your finger. You have to use your stylus. There's two key things to know about. The first we're going to look at is the brush stabilization settings. The tweaks made here are specific to the individual brush. The second is the pressure curve. Changes to this property are applied globally and will adjust how the Apple Pencil interprets pressure and force. While it's across all brushes though, you can easily reset it back to the default. You're not going to break anything or permanently change anything, so don't worry about that. There are also stabilization settings there too, which is particularly helpful for anybody that suffers from a really shaky hand. First, we'll go into the Procreate Calligraphy set and find the brush called Script. Now I'm gonna make a backup of this so we don't overwrite anything. Just swipe to the left and choose Duplicate. Now tap on the brush duplicate we just made and it'll open the brush studio. Let's rename the brush so we know we're working with the right copy. So on about this brush properties, tap at the top here where the name is and I'm gonna call it Script Smooth. Properties we're going to edit are under the top menu stabilization here. If you don't see that though and you're on a smaller iPad, just make sure you've scrolled to the very top of this left menu. So the streamline setting is the one that's going to make the most impact. In order to see what we're doing though, I'm going to clear the drawing pad. You just tap at the top of the drawing pad link here and choose clear drawing pad. Make a scribble stroke on the drawing pad and you'll see now when we alter these sliders, you can see the changes are made in real time. So the streamline settings smooth out the strokes as you're drawing them and they minimize any shaky movements, giving you smoother strokes. You can use a combination of all the settings on this panel. The one you're most probably interested in is the Streamline Amount Slider, but also try Stabilization as well. Motion Filtering Ring was specifically designed to help with hand tremors, so that's a good one to play with if you've got a really shaky hand. It's best to try actually drawing or writing so you get a good feel for the changes you've made, and I'd suggest drawing a curve, wavy line, and a straight, straight stroke as well to just experience the effects. And next we're going to move on to the second setting we spoke about, the pressure curve. So to access that, just go to your actions panel, that's the wrench icon at the top here, and under the prefs menu, you'll see pressure and smoothing at the bottom. Remember changes to this are global and will alter the sensitivity across all brushes. It mainly adjusts the pressure setting, but we also have the ability here to adjust the stabilization settings globally as well. So this graph might look a little bit intimidating, but don't worry, once you know what those axes are, it'll make more sense. So this vertical one here represents pressure that goes from minimum at the bottom and maximum at the top. And the horizontal axis here represents force. That's minimum force at the left and maximum force at the right. In its default state, it's set to minimum pressure with the lightest touch and maximum pressure with the maximum force. Tapping on the line will add a little node that you can adjust to cur pull the curve. And if you ever want to re return to the default, just tap that reset all button at the bottom. So this is great if you have a particularly light touch, you can make sure that the pressure that you apply is converted at a harder pressure. In calligraphy, we want thick and thin strokes to be consistent. So sometimes reducing the sensitivity can have a better outcome. It's going to be down to your personal preference though, so it's best to explore and find what works for you. If I were to pull this marker from the maximum pressure and maximum force to the left, I'll be able to reach the full width without so much pressure. And we can do the same with the light pressure settings and move it up slightly so we get that thin stroke more easily. You can play with these as much as you want, knowing you'll always be able to return to the default. 
Remember, it is global and it'll apply to every brush. So if you're working on a different project with a different set of brushes that might not work so well with this, you might want to reset those settings. So I recommend taking a screen grab of the graph once you find your personal preference. That way you can always reset it when needed for another particular project and come back to it later. So don't stress too much about the pressure curve. It's only if you feel it helps you, try it out. You can always go back to the default later. Awesome, so I hope these tips help you get straighter strokes in your calligraphy and illustration projects. Any questions, just type them in the comments below. I'll see you next time.